that is what is causing huge agricultural problem so you have to look at the villages in an integrated way in fact if i had any influence over the system i would say that all these companies should outsource their these services whether it is masonry or this or that work you must say that you they will reside in villages and you will provide transport to them you will contract out your a uh, carpentry work to them set up small small for example take this oil industry edible oil industry a chakki used to be there in which they used to make oil then oil expeller came in which they said there is a 6% loss in oil production solvent oil extraction gives you 6% more oil so they established the solvent oil companies factories on the coastal area you know why the deoiled cakes were exported out of india and the deoiled cakes which are available to the farmer for feeding the cattle the cattle was lost because of that the agriculture was lost and because the uh, oil extraction shifted from villages millions of employment was lost all for 6% additional oil production it is now clear the solvent oil extraction results in cancer so we have to reassess all these things how to make the village more than an agricultural economy not just an agricultural economy anyhow i'll conclude my speech with three references which should convince you if nothing else has convinced in the course of my speech you know in the year 1951 the whole world was asked to do what i am going to read out by the united nations how the underdeveloped world can develop and this was based on the speech which the us president truman had given and this is well researched by princeton university in a book that it is truman speech which got transformed into the what the united nations said and which is the exposition of what is known as the western anthropological modernity which i said is the basis of all economic theories united nations department of social and economic affairs measures for the economic development of underdeveloped countries 1951 there is a sense in which rapid progress is impossible without painful adjustments ancient philosophies have to be scrapped old social institutions have to disintegrate bonds of caste caste uh, creed and race have to burst and large number of those who cannot keep up with progress have to have their expectations of comfortable life frustrated few company com- communities are willing to pay the price for full scale economic progress that is the whole world will have to move only in one direction that is based on individualism your community has to go your philosophy has to go your old beliefs have to go this america almost achieved you see the result in terms of divorce collapse of families nationalization of families this they wanted the whole world to do fortunately we did not do it in the year 2005 the g20 nations came out with an astounding reversal of this the central bank governors and finance ministers said so far we believe there is a fit all economic for all model for the world now we have come to the conclusion there is no fit all model for the world each country will have to work out its own model based on its trait its culture its value systems then in 2008 the world bank said we have learned the hard way that there is no fit all model for the world we have learned the hard way they made the everybody's life hard and they said they learned the hard way and there is no fit all model for the world each country has to work out its own model united nations which said in 2005 there is only one model in millennium development goals they said you can develop only consistent with your culture there can be no economic development without cultural input this is the u turn of the world we have not even heard about that u turn in our economic departments 
in our finance ministry in our media our responsibility is very high at least 10% of this audience should become evangelists in this cause then maybe we be able to achieve it in 10 years thank you very much for your patient hearing on a hot topic economics itself is a very difficult topic economics of the kind which i tried to explain to you is even more difficult thank you very much for your patient here thank you thank you so much we can't thank you enough uh, for what you have given us it's a it's a realization there is one line that we can i can conclude along with the smart cities look at the smart villages which are already existing dhanyawad ji may now request shri lk hanur ji the present momento to shri s gurumurthy ji i thank you sir for your precious time